dear students, teachers and principals. This program where mathematics, physics and chemistry teachers are giving you some video lectures is a special effort as a project taken up by Mumbai region. See, a growing organization should be a learning organization. Learning of any organization comes by experience and exposure. So we have more than 1,000 schools, and maintaining quality in all the schools is a very tough challenge. And to face these challenges, we have got some teachers who are not very much experienced in their transaction. And we have conditions where the teacher is not available. So to face these both situations where less experienced teacher is exposed to an experienced teacher's teaching and where the children don't have a teacher, this video lecture will be used as a classroom teaching as an alternative. This effort is meant for improving the quality of education in our schools because Kendri Vidyalayas are treated as benchmarking schools and we are treated as path-breaking schools, pace-setting schools. If you want to maintain this and to achieve higher levels of standard, we need to do such special efforts where quality improvement is our target. Through these lectures, I would like to request all our teachers and principals to see that no child in class 12th will be failing in this particular, in this particular session. So towards this, the efforts of the principals, teachers involved in this project, their efforts are all appreciable and I congratulate and I thank them for their stupendous efforts in bringing out this project so nicely. Good luck to all. Dear ones, this material what we are supplementing you is an extract of very important lessons of physics, chemistry and maths. This can be used by the students individually or in a group or by a teacher. But it should be used along with the NCERT test book. It will act as a supplement. Thank you. Good morning students. I am Mrs. Usha Shankar Subramaniam, PGT Physics from KV IIT Powai. Today I am going to start with the first unit, electrostatic, and in that we will be doing a very important topic, electric field. Suppose we have a charge which we call it as a source charge and suppose we have another charge say small q which is which we assume has a test charge. So since they are light charges, so this test charge will experience a repulsive force. Now if I just bring this test charge slightly away from this source charge, once again it will experience a repulsive force. In the same way, if I just go on moving it, there will be a limit beyond it, it will not experience a repulsive force. Suppose that point is say this P point and suppose the distance from the source charge, so the point P above, above which the charge, test charge cannot be experienced a repulsive force, suppose the distance is say X. The same way if you just take an x distance from the source charge and same way in all the sides if you take you can have a, a sphere. So the space around the source charge where this test charge can experience a repulsive force, the space is called as an electric field. Now let us see that how to find the magnitude of the electric field at 
any point. Suppose if I assume that the point test star is at this particular point, there will be a repulsive force and if I just bring it to that point, once again there will be a repulsive force, but definitely its magnitude will be less than this particular point because it as you move away from it, the effect will be less. So, let us find out what will be the electric field at different points due to the source charge. So, the electric field is a vector quantity. So, we represent this by E with an arrow. This is equal to nothing but since we have seen that it depends upon the force. So, force per unit test charge is called as an electric field. And here one important point to be noted, this source charge which we are considering is immobile. It has to be kept in one particular position. We are just assuming that it is not moving. And the test charge which we are taking is the value is very small. So, we can just assume that E, the value of the electric field will be equal to limit Q tends to 0 F by Q. This is a magnitude we can find out by this relation that is E is equal to limit Q tends to 0 F by Q. Why we are taking limit Q tends to 0? Because the Q value is going to be very, very small. Otherwise, this will create its own electric field that we do not want. So, it has to be very less as compared to the source charge. This is the first point you should remember. And the second point which we should remember is the source charge cannot be, we just assume that it does not move. Now, next question, this is not just enough to find out the magnitude. We need to know the values of the source charge and the test charge and the distance between the two. So, let us just write what is the F in terms of Q and R. We must have studied the Coulombic force. It can be a repulsive or attractive if we take a like charges, it will be a repulsive force and if we take an unlike charges, it will be an attractive force. And the Coulomb has said that F is directly proportional to the product of the two charges. Since I am taking the two charges here for the explaining electric field capital Q and small q, so I am just using the same letters. And the distance between the two, say x, suppose I am taking or you just you can assume this distance as say r, I want to find out say at this particular point what is an electric field. So, instead of x we can write r square. So, it is directly proportional to the product of the two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two charges. And further we can find by introducing a proportionality constant. Now, this k is equal to nothing but 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. And this epsilon naught is called as a absolute permittivity of a free space. And the value of k is equal to be experimentally it is found to be equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9. Tell me students what will be its unit? Easily we can find out from this formula k I want. So, it will be k is equal to f into r square capital Q into small q. So, just tell me what will be its unit? It is Newton meter square per coulomb square. So, in this way now if you substitute the value of f in terms of a distance and the source charge and a test charge, we can rewrite this formula for the electric field as E is equal to limit Q tends to 0. What is the value of F? It is equal to K source charge into test charge divided by R square into one test charge is there. So, this test charge it will get cancelled and we will get 
ultimately k into source charge upon square of the distance. And the direction of the electric field will be towards the direction of the force the test charge experiences. Now, next we will see that how to find an electric field due to a dipole. So, before going to that, let us see what is dipole means. Dipole is nothing but it is nothing suppose if you have a two charges which are equal and opposite separated by some fixed distance the system forms a dipole. So, dipole is nothing but it is system of two charges which are equal and opposite separated by some fixed distance and its magnitude is called has a dipole moment which is equal to which is represented by P is equal to either of the charge into the distance between. Normally, we take a distance has 2 A. Instead of say, taking just has A, it is 2 A. Why we are taking this 2 A? Because always when we measure a electric field, we always take it from a center. So, when we take it from the center, it becomes A plus something. So, it becomes easy for the calculation that is why we just take a 2 way. So, remember always 2 way is equal to actually the total distance between the two charges. So, it is nothing but Q into 2 way. Now, let us find out now our main aim is we have to find out what will be the electric field due to this dipole at one particular point. We have in our syllabus when a point P is on the axis which we call it has an axial line, we have to find an electric field. So, the first will be finding the electric field on an axis due to a dipole and secondly we will start with the equatorial any point on the equatorial line. So, now we will see how to find an electric field due to dipole on an axial line. What do you mean by axial line students? It is along the axis, you can take any point on the axis. So, just let us assume, say this is your minus q and there is a plus q, the distance between the two as usual we are just assuming has 2 a and now this is the axis, we can take it any either of the side. So, now I can take any point say this is my point p. At this particular point, I want to find what is the electric field. So, it is very easy students, we know what is electric field means, just now we have found out it is equal to nothing but a source charge k of course, a constant k into a source charge divided by the distance square. Okay? So, same formula we will use it, we will do, we will find out due to minus q charge and we will find out due to the plus q charge and we will see the direction and then we will sum the two. So, let us first step we will find out the electric field due to minus q charge at point P. If you just apply this formula for this condition what it will be equal to? k minus of q upon what is the distance of course. Suppose from the center if I just because this is going to be variable I can take any point. So, we just assume this has say x. So, what it will be from suppose this point is a and this point is b. 
So, what is this distance? It is a p square. So, what is a p here? This is 2 a means this is my a and this is a. So, what is a p? It is a plus x. So, I can just write for finding the magnitude we do not have to take this minus q minus sign we can just assume we what is that? It is a plus x the whole square. Now, what will be the direction? This is my point which is going to be my test charge and because of minus q and test charge we always assume has a positive charge. So, what will happen? There will be a, a force, the force will be towards suppose you have due to this minus q charge what is the direction of the electric field? It will be always towards the charge. Just remember students, whenever we take a minus q, the electric lines of force or just a lines of force will be towards the charge. And same way, if I just take plus q, it will be away from it. We have to show it in this way. So, this is the direction of the electric field. In this case, this is the direction of the electric field. So, I am going to consider th at this particular point, I want to find an electric field due to this minus q. Just assume that minus q will be in which direction? It will be towards the point A. So, same way if I do it here, because I am going to find at point P, so I should show here, not here. So, it will be equal to, I can assume that as a E A. So, what is my E A is equal to k q upon a plus x the whole square. Now, tell me students what will be the direction, just see this here, what is the direction? Usually, we take x in this particular direction. So, what we can write? We can write minus x or we can write even P A. So, along minus x axis. So, this is I can write E A. So, what does this E A shows? It is an electric field at point A due to minus q charge which is at point A. Now, same way we will find out the electric field due to a plus q charge at P which is placed at the point B. So, the next step is the electric field due to plus q charge at point 